What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the Mid-Year Mayhem event that will be starting tomorrow, June the 24th at 10 a.m. Eastern and running until July the 6th at 10 a.m. Eastern. I will link all this information down in the description if you would like to read over it for yourself. First of all, how you start the uh, Mid-Year Mayhem uh, quest and kind of get going on the activities is go into the Crown Store and acquire de uh, details on the Mid-Year Mayhem. Uh, then you're going to travel to your Alliance War Faction's main gate in Cyrodiil by using the Alliance War menu or a battlegrounds camp outside major cities. You are no longer required to travel to Cyrodiil to kick off the event. Like I said, you can do that from a battleground camp outside any major city in the game. You're going to find the NPC, of course, and continue the quest. If you have completed the quest last year, you don't have to do it again, of course, this year. Complete the quest to receive your scroll. This scroll will give you a 100% XP buff in Alliance War, Imperial City, and Battlegrounds. Of course, it's going to give you extra Alliance points gained and XP gains for PvP player kills. This XP scroll can only be used in PvP, so if you are new to the game, you cannot use this XP scroll out of PvP in any kind of PvE zone. So this is only a PvP event. Uh, when it comes to, uh, of course, what we're going to be able to receive this year, they're going to have a new Banner Bearer Stabs and Shield Outfit pages. Also, the Ebon, St uh, the Ebon Steel Armor Outfit pages. The, Of course, you can do the Mid-Year Victor's Laurel Wreath, which is the Mid-Year mayhem achievement list if you complete that you will get the laurel wreath also we will have boon boxes i know a lot of people are really looking forward to these these boon boxes of course can be acquired in cyrodiil battlegrounds and imperial city uh, you get these in addition to your regular rewards for the worthy uh, containers and your pvp daily quest rewards from the following things so you can receive these boon boxes from battle uh, battleground quests uh, scouting battle warfront and conquest missions elder scrolls capture and uh, recapture quest Town Quest in Cyrodiil, and Imperial City Dailies. Now, within these boxes, there's a lot of different things that you can get. One of the new Alliance Banner Emblems, guaranteed to drop from your first Boon Box each day. So every day that you log in, you can go do your quest, you can get one of these Boon Boxes, and you will get a guaranteed Banner Emblem. You can also get Transmute Crystals. You can get Alchemy, uh, you know, different flowers and things for Alchemy. Uh, PvP consumables, such as Repair Kits. Uh, forward camps and siege weapons, motif pages for the alliance, for whatever alliance that you are in, and the Akavari style pages. Also, style items for your alliance, Akavari style items, Cold Harbor siege weapons, prismic runestones, uh, books of uh, some of the books for your some of your housing items. So you'll get some books that you can put on your uh, sh shelf in your houses, that kind of thing. Or on some of your you know your bookshelves anyway. Uh, fragments for a rune box containing the alliance Breton terrier pet so they're going to have the pets again uh, those have been in the uh, guild stores off and on over the last several months since the last mid-year mayhem event so i don't know if you guys have seen those or not if you're new to the game also the prismatic runestones are one of the best things uh, in my opinion you can get out of that because prismatic uh, glyphs are really really nice on tanks some people use them in pvp they are kind of expensive when mid-year mayhem is not going on they're about 20k a piece right now here on ps4 so that's another great thing you can get out of that so there's several different items you can receive from those boxes each day also, the event vendor will be uh, here so we can get event vendor uh, tickets and rewards. During Mid-Year Mayhem, you can earn up to three event tickets per day. Two tickets for completing any Cyrodiil or Battlegrounds daily quest. So those are very easy to do. You can go in and just get a scouting mission from the board in Cyrodiil and you will get two tickets once you've completed that mission. The third ticket that you have to get is from completing any Imperial City District daily quest. Now, this is a little bit trickier because there are, of course, a lot of ads in there, bosses in there, and also other players in there that can kill you. So just be aware, once you go into Imperial City, you might want to find a group to run around with if you are new to the game while you're trying to complete your daily quest. The event timer will reset every day at 2 a.m. Eastern each morning. Uh, note that if you earn new event tickets over the 12 limit cap, you will lose them. So make sure if you have event tickets on you now, if you have more than 12, or if you have you know uh, enough to where if you get three tickets, you're going to go over the uh, 12 limit, you're going to lose any ticket after 12. So make sure that you are spending those. Uh, everything that you can get the course this time is you can still get the base uh, fragments for the pet, including the Deadlands Flint, Striker, and uh, Bloodgrass Tender. All the dead went, uh, all the Deadlands Firewalker personality fragments. So now you can upgrade your pet this time to the uh, Deadlands Firewalker personality. Of course, last time when we finished up the Jester's Festival, we did get the last part for the skin. But we will have all three parts available this time for the new personality. Also, the Alliance War uh, Banner Bearer Stab Shield Outfits and other style pages. 
they cannot be traded. The Ebon Steel outfit style pages, they, they cannot be traded either. Of course, the Breton Terrier Pet, the Mid-Year May uh, Mayhem Grab Bags, which contain collectibles that you don't currently have from previous Mid-Year Mayhem events, and group repair kits. That's pretty much it for the event, guys. Kind of how it works. It's a pretty good event, especially if you're a big PvP fan. A good way to earn AP. Uh, that way, if you want to buy something from the Golden Vendor uh, every Friday, the Golden Vendor will also have gold jewelry available. One week it'll be rings. One week it'll be uh, necklaces. So make sure you check that out. But it is a good event to get a lot of stuff. Of course, it's an easy event. Like I said, if you want to go in and just get your daily tickets, you really don't want to participate in anything else. That is perfectly fine. Uh, you can get your event tickets that way. All of us can get the new uh, Deadlands uh, personality, which I'm looking forward to seeing kind of what it looks like. Of course, we know later on in the year, the pet uh, will be able to be morphed into a mount and apparently at the end of the year, a house. I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to work. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment about Mid-Year Mayhem. What do you think about it? Have you participated in the past? And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.